Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a favorites video. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by. My name is Kendall. I am deeply obsessed with makeup and beauty and skincare. I don't show my face over on this channel as much as I used to, but I'm trying to be better about that. But that being said, make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you are missing my face over here because I do still try to post a lot during the week. Uh, but YouTube is no longer my full-time job, so that's why I'm not over here as much as I would like to be. Um, but hopefully that changes in 2023. Also, I am a little bit under the weather, and I can hear it in my own voice that I don't really sound like myself. So I apologize for whatever is going on here. <laughs> I have a variety here, a little bit of makeup, skincare, lifestyle favorites, and a lot of these I have not shared yet, so I'm really excited to dive in. Uh, favorites videos are my favorite to watch and to film. So let's get into it. I have a lot to talk about. So let's start off with a drugstore primer. So e.l.f. came out with a Power Grip primer with niacinamide. I'm a big fan of the original Power Grip. My favorite is the Jelly Pop and we're all kind of bullying e.l.f. into bringing it back. So like keep bullying because they're hearing. They're hearing us. I don't know if they're going to bring it back. I think they wanted to go completely fragrance free. So they came out with Power Grip and now a pink version of Power Grip. It's trying so hard to be Jelly Pop, but it's not. But to be honest, these are exactly the same just without the watermelon scent in my opinion. And now this one has that added skincare. I wore it today. It really does help makeup to stick and last all day long. If you happen to wear makeup to work or wear it to the gym, you're going to want to try a primer like this because that is not going anywhere even through sweat. And that's why I love it so much. So I'm a big fan of gripping primer. I think if you guys know me, you know that I've been going on about gripping primers for years now. I hate the way I sound right now, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so nasally. <laughs> Moving on to a body care item that's a little bit boring. I want to get it out of the way. Um, long story short, Aveeno has unfortunately discontinued the best lotion that they ever had and the only lotion that pretty much cured me of my eczema. So that lotion was the creamy moisturizing oil with the pink cap. They have reformulated it and the new version is not even close to being the same. The ingredients are different. It's different. It's not the same at all and it works differently now. So I tried to go out into the world and find a lotion that does the same thing for me and I came pretty close with this next favorite. It's still not as good as my past lotion. This is the Nivea Essentially Enriched Deep Nourishing Serum with almond oil. This is the almond oil version. I have the past version of this without almond oil. I think I need the almond oil to help my eczema. So this has been really great. The only thing is, um, if you know this lotion, you know it leaves like a really, I, I want to use the word greasy, but it's not greasy. It leaves like a thick, nourishing, layer on your skin and it doesn't absorb 100% right away like the Aveeno did. So that's the main difference. This is much thicker and it does sit on the skin a little bit. Um, but honestly, I don't care. I've really been loving it and I haven't had my eczema return. So it's doing its job. It's just not like the most perfect formula in the world, but it's actually cheaper than the Aveeno creamy moisturizing oil. And I think it comes with a little bit more. So I like it. I think it's really good. And if you do struggle to find an alternative in case you're out there like me, um, grasping, like hoping that Aveeno brings that back. I don't think they're going to. Uh, try this one. It's a really good deeply moisturizing lotion and it does its job. So been loving that. So lately I have discovered not only the need, but the love of doing a double cleanse. So making sure that all of the oils, sunscreen, makeup is off of my face has been super important. And in order to really achieve that, you need to go in with like an oil-based cleanser, uh, cleansing balm, and then go in, follow up with your gel cleanser or your like normal cleanser after that. That's a double cleanse. This is almost gone, but I've actually really loved this as an oil-based cleanser. This is the Crave Beauty Makeup Rewind Transforming Jelly Oil Cleanser. Honestly, at first, I didn't read the fine print and I didn't know that this was an oil cleanser. 
but it was breaking down my makeup so well, but I finally realized what it was and I incorporated it into the proper double cleanse routine and that's when I really fell in love with this product. I can't believe I went so long thinking like, this cleanser, it's like really oily, but like it gets my makeup off and I wasn't following up with another cleanser after, but now I am and it's a miracle worker. It's like too little too late because it's almost gone, but it's a really, really good oil-based cleanser if you're looking for one. Of course, you can use a cleansing balm. I do alternate with the pharmacy, but this one's like a little bit easier. You don't have to scoop out a product. It's in a tube and ready to go. And some people do prefer oil over the balm form. So if you're looking for a really good oil cleanser that is good for sensitive skin, acne prone skin, all of that, this is really good. So my lifestyle has been a lot busier than I guess pre-pandemic. Like once the pandemic hit, I scrambled to find another job and then my job that I lost because of the pandemic came back so I was working two jobs. So now I'm working two jobs and social media and social media is very, very important to me. So long story short, I'm working every single day, like seven days a week, and I also work out. So a very important product to me has become dry shampoo. I used to not love being a dry shampoo girly just because I love the feeling of having like freshly washed hair, but if you work out, you know that you're in this like love-hate relationship cycle with your shower and when you're washing your hair, and I think it's a well-known fact that it's better to give your hair a couple of days. Like, don't shampoo it every single day. I mean, you do you, but I'm on a hair growth journey and I feel like I've seen the importance of skipping wash days. So I will wash my hair and then go one or two days is as long as I can go and then I'll wash my hair again. I This is going on a tangent, but basically I need a really, really good dry shampoo and I think I found the best one yet. This is from Living Proof. It's the perfect hair day dry shampoo and I think what gets me about this is it says right on the bottle, actually cleans hair, eliminates oil, sweat, and odor. And I have felt that. Like I have a lot of dry shampoos and a lot of them I do love, uh, but this one, it just hits different. It smells really good. It does smell like you just left the salon, but I find that if I spray this in, I really rub it in, brush it in, all of that, and then let it sit, it actually feels like my hair is freshly washed. So that makes all the difference for me. I know that this is high end, it's more expensive, but I honestly think it's so worth it. I know that they have another version, like a more advanced version of this as well. I have not tried that one yet. I don't know how you can get much better than this one, but this has been a game changer for my lifestyle lately. And especially, like, I know it sounds gross, but especially after like a light gym day where you didn't completely like wreck your hair with sweat, but like you need to actually clean it. This is so, so good for that. So thank you Living Proof for saving my life with this dry shampoo. I have kind of a weird I, I guess it's not weird, but kind of a weird lifestyle favorite to share with you guys. And that is literally the best mouthwash I have ever used in my entire life. I've always used mouthwash. I've always used the ones that like burn the crap out of your tongue and your gums. And like, I, I don't hate that. Like, I'm fine with it. But this is not like that and it's even more effective. And I feel like if you want to make sure that your breath is smelling good, all day long, you need to try this brand because it's actually crazy. Like, I feel like I never ever have stinky breath, like literally ever. This is the Thera Breath Dentist Formulated Healthy Smile Oral Rinse. I've used like the teal bottle of this and really liked it, but the past couple times I have purchased this pink bottle. This one is for fighting cavities, strengthening teeth, enamel, and fresh breath. I've had a little bit of sensitivity lately. I'm not sure why. I knock on wood, I've never had a cavity, so I just, I'm not used to feeling any kind of sensitivity, but I think it's because of the cold. It's been super, super cold here where I live, and I feel like, like, my two front teeth are super, super sensitive because of the cold, so I did buy, like, Sensodyne toothpaste, but I also am focusing on this version because it's supposed to be good for, like, your enamel and strengthening your teeth and all of that, so... Basically, if you want your breath to smell good for an extended period of time, try this. It doesn't burn. It doesn't have the same, like, alcohol-based formula as, like, most 
mouthwashes sick brain <laughs> and weirdly enough you can purchase this at Ulta and use your $3.50 off coupon which is what I've been doing it's at Target and Walmart too but I like to use that coupon in the winter I do have the most dry as a desert skin on my face on my body everywhere so this is actually a newer product but I've been using it every night since they sent this to me this is from Kiehl's and I've loved Kiehl's products in the past they have a lot of good like sensitive skin products this is their ultra facial advanced repair barrier cream so it's meant to heal the skin barrier which is something I keep hearing about everywhere um, do I feel like my skin barrier needs to be healed? I don't know. I definitely am a product over user probably when it comes to skincare. I'm always trying like new exfoliants, like physical and chemical and all of that. And I imagine that it does a little bit of damage. So I like having a product that's like deeply, deeply hydrating, but also specifically made for healing your skin barrier. I feel like I'm helping reverse some potential damage when I use this product and this is one of those products when you use it at night and you wake up in the morning like you know that it's soaked in and it's really helped to make your skin softer and more hydrated so it's really good it does its job I'm pretty sure that the potted version of this is one of their best selling creams so if you happen to love that and you need a little extra something something try this one out it's intensely hydrating I really like it and then this guy it's gonna hurt me when it's gone because I've been using it in the morning and it is so good it has ceramides in it it has peptides in it it's the Ole Henriksen strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer I love the purple jar too I don't know why that's a vibe lately but this is a very like lightweight fluffy nice deep moisturizer. It's great if you're going to put makeup over top of it. Um, it's a good standalone product too. It's a lot lighter than that Kiehl's one so I think it's a better day cream personally. I use it as a day cream. When I put this on in the winter in the morning it feels like I'm doing myself a service. Like I am taking care of myself. This is my self-care winter daytime moisturizer. Everything about it, love it, feels like I'm going to the spa in my own house and I'm gonna miss it when it's gone. That's it for skincare. Let's move on to fragrance. I have a couple fragrance favorites. One that I always go back to in the winter ever since it came out is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Chirosa 40. There are a lot of different Chirosa scents but the 40 one is the black amp am Oh my god, I can't speak. The 41 is Black Amber Plum. I think I'm gonna wear this today. Oh my god, it's just so delectable. This one has a little bit more of like a fruity touch to it in with the florals. So it's just like a juicy, warm floral fragrance. I don't know how to describe it. It's beautiful. It's very, I think it's more winter. I think this is more winter than the original Chirosa 62. So that one's definitely summer in a bottle. One time I wore this out and my best friend told me that I smelled like like a maple sugar donut, which was very interesting because I don't get that vibe, but it does have like that warm vanilla like bakery type vibe to it. So it's like a it's like a little treat. <laughs> I love this. I love everything that I'm talking about. So I know that I'm getting repetitive and annoying, but I love all of this. <laughs> and then this was actually a Christmas gift. I asked for the Alt Fragrance Crystal number 23, which is the Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe. This one has been heavily heavily complimented every single time I have wore this uh, I'm getting compliments from my boyfriend from people like out in the world they'll stop me and be like oh my god what is that you smell so good and I honestly like I go nose blind to fragrances really easily and this one I have not gone nose blind to like every time I smell it I'm like you're that bitch when you wear this like this is so good that I I do wonder about the original Baccarat. I do have a story, short story. <laughs> People say that when you smell Baccarat, like you just know what they're wearing. And even though I have never smelled it in my life and I didn't have this or anything, I knew that this girl was wearing Baccarat Rouge 540. I was in the hospital. My boyfriend had an emergency appendix removal. We're in the hospital for like 
20 something hours and I'm like laying there in one of the emergency bedrooms and this girl and her mother were in the room next to me and I could smell Baccarat Rouge 540 the entire time and I was overhearing their conversation and she was from LA and she was like a gorgeous blonde with like, you know, all the trendy jewelry and, and purses and whatever. So I just knew. So I just knew it was Baccarat Rouge 540 that she was wearing. Uh, she was going through a traumatic time, so I did not confront her. Um, but yeah, she smelled really good and I smelled it all night long. I was unintentionally trauma bonded with this girl that I've never met. Um, but I loved the scent and this is very affordable. If you haven't got this, I would get this. Now I have been using this powder non-stop and like I know that I'm not the biggest powder girly but I have been wearing powder blush and powder bronzer so I do need to powder my face before I do that. I love my creams but like I feel like I'm slowly getting back into powders. I think it happens with the seasons and since it's winter I have been loving using them um, but I think this deserves a shout out because it's so fantastic. I think I've talked about this already, probably. It might have been a favorite in my yearly roundup, but it's the talc-free powder from Laura Mercier, the translucent loose setting powder ultra blur version, and it's just, I can't stop using it. It's such a nice, finely milled powder. It goes on the face without looking like it's anything. It doesn't look cakey. It just sets everything down a nice soft natural matte finish and you can blend any powder over top and it's just such a dreamy setting powder and then the added benefit of being talc free. It's just chef's kiss. It's an amazing amazing powder and then this one hurts me to share because I don't think it's available right now. I could be wrong. It might have come back but I've been having a hard time finding it to link it because I think it was limited edition. But this was one of my favorite Christmas presents. It's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, the Elephant Unlocked Palette. Um, I believe it was a holiday limited edition palette. God, I hate my nasally voice right now. Is she not just the most gorgeous selection of powders? I have the bronzer on today. I have the blushes on today. I have a little bit of these like setting powders under my eyes today. Like it's just such a beautiful complexion product. And I, product? I know that this is like wildly expensive, but there's just something so satisfying. Like this is one of my like big presents that I asked for. And like, I'm just so happy to have this in my collection. As somebody who does overspend on makeup, um, this is just such a nice gift. Oh, it's such a nice gift because I don't know if I would have bought it for myself. Here are the shades in this palette in case you want any of them individually. The two finishing powders are Dim Light and Soft Light. There's a Metallic Strobe Powder Highlighter. It's Beaming Strobe Light. The bronzer is Lustrous Blonde. Blonde. <laughs> The bronzer is Lustrous Bronze Light, and then the two blushes are Iridescent Coral and Radiant Rose. It's just so freaking beautiful. My favorites are definitely the blushes, but I use this all the time. I'm, I'm in love with this. I have another blush favorite, and I think that this is a dupe for the Dior pink blush that everybody has been raving about. I have had enough self-control not to buy that because I just don't feel, I don't feel like I need it. I just don't. But this is a dupe. This is from ColourPop. It's one of the heart compact blushes that was released for the Valentine's Day collection. So I do think that this is available. Cross my fingers. Um, I know that they just launched this not too long ago, but this is the shade Hot to Touch. And you see how it's just like the same like bright light pink as the Dior. I don't own it so I really don't know but I am assuming that this is a dupe and I feel like I have my own version of that product now that I have this. I don't feel like I need the other one. And the compact is so cute. The only thing about these that I don't like is that with long nails they're so hard to get open. Like they have no business being so hard. Like I have to like grab it like this and like really you have to be so gentle. If you try too hard, you're gonna like fling it across the room. Like, I don't know. It's just, they're a little bit too hard to open. I wish there was some other way, but how else would they make it so like seamless and cute? So I understand, but I do wish it was a little easier to open, but these are beautiful. I love the soft touch packaging. I love 
the pink hearts in Valentine's Day season, pink season. I'm, a, I'm, stop. I need to stop saying I love everything. <laughs> I am happily in like with this blush. This next product is one of my most used products in this entire past year. Um, I, it is rare. It is rare that I hit pan. I would like to hit pan more often, but to do that, I need to do my makeup more often. I absolutely do my makeup on camera, obviously, and whenever I'm doing social media, but I need to wear more makeup on a day-to-day -day basis simply because I love it and I want to get my use out of it, but I have been so not good about that. I don't like waking up earlier than I need to for work. Um, and I guess it's a good thing. Like, I feel more confident in my own skin. But I love applying makeup so much. I need to make it more of a priority. Um, it's my self-care, you know? So I don't know why I'm going on this tangent. But this product I have severely hit pan on. And it is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Skin Transforming Skin. Okay. Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Light. It is a all-over warming complexion tint, and it has the most beautiful dewy glowy finish. I use this every single day that I do my makeup. I use it underneath makeup sometimes. I use it over makeup sometimes. It really does have the perfect shade of bronze for me. This, again, is the shade Light. Um, there's... <sighs> My hairs are in this, like it's not cute. Uh, but this is gonna be a repurchase, like a high-end repurchase, which is a little bit rare for me because I am trying to work through my collection, which is hard. But like this, I don't think I could live without this one in my collection. So love this. I honestly like can't believe I love it as much as I do. I didn't think I would. Uh, but I, I just can't keep my paws off of it. So really, really good bronzer one of my top favorite bronzers ever honestly i want to mention this eyeliner simply because i have not mentioned it and i have been wearing it a lot this is something that i will wear on like a day-to-day -day basis if i'm running out the door and i just want my eyes to look a little bit more open like i tried a little bit um it is a brown liquid liner from huda beauty it's the huda beauty life liner quick and easy in very brown and these have the skinniest little tip on them oh i'm wearing my watch i never wear my watch in videos but it's super brown it's got a super skinny tip i love the life liner i also use it in black it's like a pen like a marker with a brush tip i think <laughs> it's not felt tip it's super super skinny very high quality the black one has lasted me so long that i'm like how are you not running out yet? So this one's fairly new to me, but it's been a really good brown liner. I was using the Benefit one. That one finally did dry up. So I've shifted. This one's a little bit darker, I want to say, than the Benefit one, but it does say very brown. Very brown. And then my final favorite is this Drugstore Gloss from CoverGirl. This is the Clean Fresh Yummy Lip Gloss. I did post a swatch, lip swatch video all on TikTok. Instagram and over here um, but it's funny because everybody's like telling me oh they they look the same because there's a bunch of colors I have all of them in front of me and you guys they are tinted lip glosses like these three are gonna look very similar <laughs> but you don't need all of them I have all of them just because I wanted to share them all with you guys but my favorite shade is the my straw booty and i love this so much because i think it's a drugstore alternative for the dior lip oil oh it smells so good i wore this to breakfast this morning with my grandma and she was like what do you have on your lips they look so juicy and it's this <laughs> truly honestly it is really really similar to the dior um the only thing the dior i think is stickier and therefore lasts a little bit longer on the lips these aren't sticky these are smooth hydrating they smell good i really love them no you don't need every single shade and yes they're just lightly tinted so they're gonna look similar i don't think they look identical though let me let me just do a swatch on my hand maybe i'm wrong I'll do my straw booty. So you can see it's got a pink tint to it, but it's like a light pink tint. Look at them like they're like they're lip oils and not like, I guess like a tinted or pigmented gloss because they're not a pigmented gloss. Sugar Poppy I think is going to be a popular one because it has that light pink 
shade to it and that is sugar poppy you see how much lighter it is a lot lighter and a lot more like nudie pink but they're not full-on pigmented glosses they're definitely tints acai you later is like a deep berry color all of these are gonna look good on any skin tone that's what i like about them that one right there is acai you later so like these are three very different like colors in the tube i mean you tell me are they all the same i don't think so i think they're just tints they look different enough to me and they do have different scents some of them are berries some of them are coconut and some of them are pineapple um i got some of them wrong when i was guessing because i just kept smelling pina colada even on the coconut ones um but yeah i put the proper scent up on the screen uh, if you want to see that swatch video. I'm going to put on, I think I'm going to put on some sugar poppy and see what it looks like over lipstick. I haven't tried any of these over lipstick yet. I have my favorite nude on. This one, I think is coconut. I don't remember. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I like this. This one makes a good nude lip combo topper. Just made my nude lip nice and shiny. I'm a big fan. It's been a while since I've discovered a gloss from the drugstore that I love. Very, very happy with it. So that is it, you guys, for today's favorites video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I am going to try to make it a goal for myself to make sure that I pop up here a little bit more often um, than I have been. I've been going like a couple weeks without posting, which I don't really like because I love YouTube at the end of the day, even if it's not treating me right. <laughs> I still love it. I'm going to link all my favorites in the description box if you guys want to check any of them out. Make sure to follow me if you want short form content. Follow me on my TikTok and my Instagram. I do plan on posting more short videos over here as well. I feel like YouTube is like always going to be my favorite platform, even if the other ones take over. Um, I'm still going to show my face over here, so stay tuned. Hit the notification bell if you really want to be notified when I post because who knows? It's like the Wild West over here. I don't know what YouTube is doing, but thank you guys for watching, for finding me, for rediscovering me or discovering me for the first time. I love you guys so much, and I look forward to talking to you in my next video. Bye, guys.